Fate comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. You're listening to The Moment of Power with Azano Eddie Thompson. Daily audio devotions to energize your day presented by the Advent Hero Ministries. Our moment of power topic today is the dignity of labor. For even when we were with you, this we commanded you, that if any would not work, neither should he eat. 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 10 There are those who think that labor or work is a negative thing, or at best an evil necessity, something one should denigrate. Even some preachers are telling their congregations that as long as they are God's children, they don't have to focus on hard work, on labor, but just on the favor of God. In the Thessalonian church, some were trying to push their view that Christians should not work on other church members. Ellen White describes the situation thus, quote, Misguided souls have taught that the attainment of true holiness carries the mind above the earthly thoughts and leads men to refrain wholly from labor. Others, taking extreme views of certain texts of scripture, have taught that it is a sin to work, that Christians should take no thought concerning the temporal welfare of themselves or their families, but should devote their lives wholly to spiritual things. The teaching and example of the Apostle Paul are a rebuke to such extreme views." Unquote. Ellen White's Acts of the Apostles, page 348, paragraph 1. Genesis chapter 2, verse 15 intimates us that there was even some form of work before the entrance of sin. Adam and Eve were to dress and keep the garden. After their fall, God told Adam that he would now have to sweat before he eats. See Genesis 3.19. This was actually a blessing in disguise. As man engages in the positive work, his mind will be kept from the frivolous and degrading thoughts that the devil would be pushing on him. His time will be well utilized and some kind of work will give health and strength to the body because they involve physical activities and some exercise of some sort. Gainful employment was given to keep the mind and body in good shape. This is the moment of power. As you go about your work today, may the good Lord bless your heart and the works of your hand with prosperity and success in Jesus' name, amen. Please do have a nice day.